Just in case you were wondering what happened to my old door. Well, it was in better condition than Mevy's van door, uh, which had some issues with it. So he's had my old van door and he made the hole bigger, if that was even possible. And he's put a bonded window in it. So for the first time in his history of van life, Mevy actually has a window in the side of his van. It's amazing. He was very, very happy about it. Just forming an idea I'm going to steal from Mevy. I'm not sure I'm going to put my heater under the driver's seat because um, he's found out that only the two kilowatt heaters fit under the driver's seat and I've ordered a five kilowatt one. However, I am going to steal that, possibly as a location for the pump, but definitely to sound deaden it using the sound deadening panels. It's cool. Oh yeah, Christmas. Thank you very much, Ryobi, for um, sending me some mega tools and power and accessories and safety glasses and stuff to clean up and fast chargers. Yes. Now we can get building that van. Woohoo! Good morning, folks. Um, so today's little task is to uh, make that door match the rest of the paint. How are we going to resolve the door issue? Right, bit of spraying today. So my idea is spray that bit and spray that bit. Because below that line there, I'm going to do black. And this bit, I'm going to wrap it. So I don't know if you ever remember our last van. Um, the silver Jakarto had a, a gunmetal grey stripe or section vinyl wrapped down the middle uh, and that will now match my gunmetal grey alloys. So I've got this made up to match the colour of my van using the paint code 249 which is stamped under the bonnet. That is a good colour match. <laughs> Right, there we go then. That is the door sorted. Just finished doing the van. No rain forecast today. Paint, fortunately, has a skin on it. So I'm hoping that it isn't going to be affected, but it is raining quite a lot. <laughs> if it was going to happen, you know it happened when I was doing something. Especially, you know, outside. There you go. All right, so get the proper tools out now. Uh, whilst the Ryobi stuff is all absolutely brilliant, um, I don't have an orbital um, sander or anything like that. I don't think Ryobi do it. Um, so for this one, it's my orbital sander polisher and the good old EcoFlow. And actually this one is the new EcoFlow Delta II, which has been absolutely stonking for powering all my tools, charging up all my tools and stuff like that. And obviously in the van, I would use it for everything because it's got USB-C and all that kind of stuff on it. So yeah, going in the Airbnb, I haven't got all those adapters for mains power and everything else. So I'm using this. This is actually still in use in my Airbnb. It powers the laptop that edits these videos and obviously it's powering all my tools literally doing everything it's charging all the cameras and everything like that all in um, the airbnb because i haven't got one of those adapters in the mains because you know i live in a van so this you wouldn't be seeing the videos and the content if it wasn't for the ecoflow and the delta 2 is just mega more power and less weight i mean that's my van my whole concept of this van is to have everything i need less weight and more power than I, I really need. So yeah, that is going to join me on my van life journey. But for today, uh, the task is obviously I sprayed it the other day and then it rained. Um, so I got raindrops all over my fresh paint, which is, you know, perfect. Um, so yeah, all I'm doing now is I've used um, different grades of wet and dry. So started off with 3000 and then it went up to 7000. Um, so I've got the paint lovely and flat now. I also had a couple of flies that dropped in on the paint as well. Uh, can't remember where they were now. Oh, there's one. <laughs> so yeah, that's all, as you can feel, or hear, lovely and flat now. Um, so now I just need to uh, get the orbital 
uh, polisher and some G3, which is a, a medium uh, to fine um, abrasive compound for cutting and finishing or both. Um, but yeah, I find this is great for getting out scratches. You've seen where we've been in the last van for getting out scratches. Uh, but in this circumstance, as you can see, the paint's flat. It needs polishing back up again. Right then, let's, um, let's do some wrapping, yo. Quite happy about that. I had to put a join in there and unfortunately it tore as well. Which I'm a bit miffed about because otherwise that would have been one piece. And I was trying to get it in one piece as well. So, not bad though. Like I say, the paintwork matches as well now. So we've got the same shine and everything in the paintwork, so that's all right. The paintwork is the same colour. So yeah, quite happy about that. Just need to do the black bit at the bottom. make a mistake like I did here you can just peel it up and that's it I can now mask it all off do it all again and um, not make the same mistake there you go fixed it now it's all good so you might ask well John what did you do to fix it what was the problem well the problem was uh, quite simply, I'd left it too long to leave the tape on. So when I pulled the tape back, uh, the tape was stuck to the paint and was peeling the paint back because the paint is actually, um, yeah, it's a rubber-based paint. Um, so to uh, to do it again, it's just mask it up, <laughs> spray it. And what you can actually do as well is use your finger to blend the new and the old paint together. That's fine. It's good for touch-ups as well uh, because it's rubber-based paint. You just spray a bit on, rub it around. So you cover up whatever, you know, stone chip or whatever, and then spray over the top and you're fine. So yeah, um, sprayed over, taped, done. Pulled the tape off while it was wet. Bob's your uncle. It's been raining a lot since I finished that. I mean, it rained when I painted it. It rained when I did some vinyl wrap. <sighs> the weather's just been pretty, pretty atrocious in all fairness. Um, really bad wind, bad rain. Um, and the forecast for next week's not so great too. So I was hopefully going to see uh, Liam and Rick. Um, see if I could uh, get some help putting the windows in or get some better advice putting the windows in and um, because I went to see them a few weeks ago uh, just to talk over the building what I was going to do just to see if they had any ideas to help me out and stuff like that um but they've got a van in so I can't get my van in there um I also had a chat with AD from um, All Things Timber as well and unfortunately um he's mega busy right now he's the only other person I know with uh, an indoor space as well to do the windows <sighs> So I'm kind of a bit stuck. I can't do anything on the inside right now because I need the windows in to start doing the insulation so I know everything's going to sit. Um, and then once I've done that, I can do the bed, blah, 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 get the floor in, blah, blah, blah. I've just got a ton of stuff that's just waiting to go into the van and I'm just stuck for the weather. I'm dodging the weather in everything I do inside now. And it's just taking away longer now than I thought it would take. Um, and I'm impatient. So whilst it's good because I get to edit videos while it's raining and you guys get to see more content, um, it's bad in the fact that this right now is the cutoff. I have no more content. So after you've watched this video, if I can't find anywhere else to go and work on the van, there won't be any content for a few days.
just give you a warning on that, that if there isn't a video in a couple of days, you know why. Anyway, that's enough waffle for me. Thank you. Bye.